Have you ever wondered if Jose Rizal could be the father of Adolf Hitler? Intriguing urban legend, isn't it? Delving into the beginnings of this captivating tale, it seems to have sprouted from the hidden corners of hushed whispers and speculative chatters, a tale that links two historical figures from two different continents born in two different eras. But how did Rizal, a revered physician from the Philippines, become entwined in the narrative of Hitler, one of history's most infamous figures? It all begins with Rizal's journey to Europe in the late 19th century. As a young man, Rizal set off to gain knowledge only to find himself in the heart of Europe. He traveled extensively, traversing the continent's rich cultural tapestry from Spain to France and Germany to Austria. Now let's fast forward to the birth of Adolf Hitler in April of 1889. Hitler was born in Braunau am Inn, a small town in Austria, close to the German border. Interestingly, during this period, Rizal was residing in Europe, specifically in Germany. The geographical proximity of Rizal's residence and Hitler's birthplace during this time is what fuels this urban legend. Now it's worth noting that there's no direct evidence linking Rizal to Hitler's lineage. However, the mere coincidence of their geographical closeness during the time of Hitler's birth has been enough to spark the imaginations of many, leading to the creation of this fascinating urban legend. So could this geographical coincidence be the root of this urban legend? What do you think? Did you know that Rizal was not just a revered national hero, but also a respected physician and a talented artist? Picture a man of many facets, a virtuoso navigating multiple disciplines with grace and skill. This was Jose Rizal, a man who wore many hats with equal aplomb. Rizal's life was a symphony of accomplishments, each note played with precision and passion. As a physician, he was known for his dedication and skill, providing care and comfort to those in need. His medical prowess was not limited to his homeland, as he also practiced in various parts of Europe, leaving a mark wherever he went. But Rizal was not just a man of science, he was equally gifted in the arts. An accomplished writer, he penned novels that sparked a revolution and became a cornerstone of Philippine literature. His words were not just mere collections of letters, they were powerful tools that challenged the status quo and inspired a nation. And if that was not enough, Rizal was also a prolific artist. His sketches and sculptures showcased a deep understanding of form and emotion. His art was not just an expression of his creativity, but a reflection of his keen observation and empathetic nature. Yet it was not just his accomplishments that made Rizal a fascinating figure, but his personality as well. He was known to be charismatic, witty, and captivating. His charm and intellect made him popular, not just among his peers, but also with the ladies. These diverse skills and talents, combined with his charismatic personality, contributed to the creation of various urban legends about him. It painted a picture of a man who could do anything and everything, a man whose life was shrouded in mystery and intrigue. And so the seeds of urban legends were sown. The stories took root in the fertile ground of imagination, sprouting tales that stretched the boundaries of belief. They painted Rizal in different lights from being a German spy to being the father of Adolf Hitler. Could Rizal's many talents have made him a likely candidate for being the father of Hitler? Or is there more to this tale? As we delve deeper into this urban legend, let's keep our minds open, our curiosity peaked and our sense of wonder alive because sometimes the most fascinating stories are the ones that blur the lines between fact and fiction. Did Rizal's love life play a role in the creation of this urban legend? Now let's delve into the romantic affairs of Jose Rizal, which are as fascinating as his intellectual pursuits. It's well documented that Rizal, despite his serious demeanor, was quite the charmer. In fact, his romantic relationships spanned across different continents. But it was his time in Europe that sparks our interest in this mystery. While in Europe, Rizal was known to have been involved with a number of women, each one leaving an imprint on his life and works. These relationships were often complex, passionate, and most importantly for our story, shrouded in mystery. This ambiguity has led many to speculate about the nature of these relationships and their possible outcomes. One of the most intriguing aspects of Rizal's love life is the possibility of him fathering a child during his time in Europe. This speculation stems from his intimate relationships and the secrecy surrounding them. 
Could it be possible that one of these relationships resulted in the birth of a child unknown to history? This theory is not entirely baseless. Rizal was known to be secretive about his personal life, often leaving more questions than answers. This has led to endless speculation and the creation of numerous urban legends, including the one we're discussing. The mystery of Rizal's love life provides an intriguing backdrop to the urban legend of him being the father of Adolf Hitler. It's a tale that combines historical fact with speculation and imagination, resulting in a story that is as captivating as it is controversial. Could one of these relationships have resulted in the birth of Hitler, or is this just an intriguing piece of fiction? As we continue to explore this urban legend, we must remember that the line between fact and fiction is often blurred, especially when it comes to the life of a man as enigmatic as Jose Rizal. What role do urban legends like these play in our understanding of history? This question is more than just a thought experiment. It's a deep dive into the heart of how we perceive and interpret the past. Urban legends like the one suggesting Jose Rizal as the father of Adolf Hitler often weave a fantastical narrative around historical figures, blurring the lines between fact and fiction. These tales, despite their lack of verifiable evidence, can leave an indelible mark on our collective consciousness, influencing how we perceive and remember these individuals. Take Rizal, for instance, a man of many talents, a respected physician and a revered national hero of the Philippines. Yet this urban legend casts him in a new intriguing light. It suggests a connection to one of history's most reviled figures, Adolf Hitler. Such a claim, however fantastical, can alter the way we view Rizal, adding a layer of mystery and intrigue to his already complex persona. Similarly, this urban legend also impacts our perception of Hitler. A man known for his atrocities now linked to a revered figure like Rizal. It's an association that can potentially humanize Hitler, opening up a whole new avenue of discussion and debate. But how should we navigate this sea of speculation and conjecture? That's where critical thinking comes in. We must remember that while urban legends can make history more engaging, they are at the end of the day, unverified tales. They should not replace the documented facts and evidence that form the foundation of our historical understanding. So could this urban legend change the way we perceive Rizal and Hitler? Perhaps? It can certainly spark curiosity, provoke debate and encourage further exploration. But should we let it overshadow the known facts and disregard the established narratives? That, dear listeners, is a question we all must answer for ourselves. Could this urban legend change the way we perceive Rizal and Hitler? Or should we stick to the known facts and disregard such rumors? So, could Jose Rizal really be the father of Adolf Hitler? A question that has sparked countless debates and conversations. Let's look back at what we've discussed. Our journey started with the intriguing connection, a web of coincidences and conjectures that seem to link two figures from different eras. We delved into the life of Rizal, a man of many talents whose accomplishments were as diverse as they were impressive. We navigated through the labyrinth of his love life, a saga punctuated by fascinating stories and speculations. And we pondered the impact of urban legends, the power they wield in shaping perceptions and narratives. But now we arrive at the verdict, the evidence, or rather the lack of it. The truth is there's no concrete proof to substantiate the claim that Rizal fathered Hitler. No letters, no documents, no irrefutable DNA evidence, nothing more than conjecture and folklore. Sure, Rizal was in Europe around the time Hitler could have been conceived. Yes, he was known to have relationships with a number of women, but these dots don't necessarily connect to form the picture that some have painted. Historians the world over have reached a consensus that this is merely a legend, a tale spun out of thin air, fueled by the human penchant for sensationalism and intrigue. It's a testament to Rizal's stature, his place in history, that he's become a central figure in such an audacious urban legend. So while it's an interesting notion, the idea that Jose Rizal could be the father of Adolf Hitler remains just that, an idea, a figment of imagination, a story born out of speculation, not fact. And with that, we close our exploration of this urban legend. But remember, the world is full of mysteries and legends waiting to be unraveled. So stay curious, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep wondering. Subscribe for more amazing contents. Keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. 
Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.